prism is that isosceles triangle prism isosceles triangled prism is incident normally on the first surface the second refracting surface is uh, silvered ice that it is isosceles triangled prism light is incident on the prism like this and reflected like this comes out through the base normal to the base comes out through the base normal to it then angles of the prism or they can ask you questions like this once again I want to analyze the question like this light is incident normally on the refracting surface on the refracting surface one and reflected from silver surface silver surface comes out normally normally through the base normal through the base then angles of the isosceles prism is how to approach this problem so you know very well i think so in the case of reflection in the case of reflection i want to touch the one space angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection all of you know i think so sir they given isosceles prism means out of three angles two angles are equal let it be beta beta and this is alpha alpha and two angles are equal betas like this these two angles are equal that's why we are calling it as isosceles prism well and good then at this point observe the diagram drop the normal here you know very well angle between the incident light and normal is called angle of incidence this is normal to the surface 90 this becomes sir 90 minus alpha this also what sir alpha normal 90 and this is alpha 90 minus alpha this becomes alpha i think so you can understand right angle triangle okay once this incidence becomes alpha this also becomes what alpha why because angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection next drop the normal here once again this is also what sir 90 and the total angle in a triangle is 180 degrees total angle in a triangle is 180 degrees 90 plus 2 alpha here this angle i think so you can understand 90 minus 2 alpha why because total angle becomes 180 degrees how 90 plus 2 alpha plus 90 minus 2 alpha 2 alpha 2 alpha gets cancelled 180 then i think so you can understand this also becomes what 2 alpha na this also sir 2 alpha this becomes 90 what about this angle you can guess it i think so this is 90 minus beta 90 minus beta means sir this is 2 alpha all of you i think so you can understand 
this is beta 90 90 minus beta 90 minus beta equal to what sir 90 minus 2 alpha then 90 90 gets cancelled beta equal to becomes what sir 2 alpha once again i want to say like this sir total diagram is with the prism only beta 90 90 minus beta this 90 minus beta means this also becomes what 90 minus beta 90 minus beta equal to 90 minus 2 alpha 90 90 gets cancelled beta equal to 2 alpha this is the base of that line okay total angle in a triangle is alpha plus beta plus beta equal to 180 beta equal to 2 alpha that i am going to get 5 alpha equal to 180 alpha equal to sir 36 one minute that is 5 3 sir, am, am i right 5 3 sir, 15 3 0 5 36 sir 36 degrees is the alpha beta equal to sir 2 alpha so the angles of the prism are 72 degrees 72 and 36 is the angles of the prism like this they can give you tricky questions based on conceptual level orientation one more question i want to construct to you like this this is normal sir whatever may be the incidence of light whatever may be the angle of incidence at the first surface the light from the second surface should not come out through the second refracting surface means the limiting condition i can calculate it limiting condition is what grazes the surface then the angle of incidence theta they can ask you but they will give you refractive index of, of the prism once again i want to say the condition for you angle of incidence is theta in such a way that the light from the second surface should not comes out condition for light doesn't come through the second surface okay I think so you can understand from the second surface if I apply the Snell's law whenever the light travel from denser to rarer angle of refraction is 90 already I said with you this is critical angle then at second surface this point at second surface that point mu 1 sin i equal to mu 2 sin r mu 1 sin i equal to mu 2 sin r throughout the refraction i want to continue with only one line this mu 1 sin i equal to mu 2 sin r mu 1 equal to sir mu into sin i is nothing but c mu 2 1 into sin r is what sir 90 degrees mu equal to 1 by sin c how 1 into 1 by sin c next sir but my requirement is not a mu i want theta condition for grazing so it should not come out from the second surface so i should approach the theta measurement 1 into once again snell's law sin theta first surface sir sin theta equal to second mu sin r that is sin theta equal to mu into sin a minus c how previous i derived like this a equal to r1 plus r2 na that is r1 plus r2 is what c once again a equal to r1 plus r2 r2 is what c then i am going to approach like this sin theta equal to mu into sin a minus c 
sin of a minus b sin a minus sin b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b you know very well from your mathematics sin theta equal to mu into sin a cos c minus cos a sin c but i know sin c from this value can i write here that is like this sin theta equal to small portion one one step only left that's why i want to write here mu into sin a as it is i know the angle sin a sin cos c cos c what i can get from the triangle that is from triangle sin c equal to 1 by mu root of mu square minus 1 cos c is what mu square minus 1 by mu once again cos c adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side by hypotenuse mu square minus 1 by mu minus cos a by sin c sin c is what 1 by mu multiply it theta equal to sin inverse of sin a mu square minus 1 under root minus cos a this is the limiting condition for for light should not come out from the second surface just grazes if it is greater or equal it can comes out 